Greetings, YouTube. I was so ready to open $50 of featured calves right at noon, but I only have a uh, small amount of time to record, and so I'm going to move the $50 over to tonight's broadcast, where thanks to Lude's generous uh, donations yesterday who sponsored the whole thing, we will open $100 worth of featured calves tonight at 9 o'clock. But I logged into my Instagram, and Instagram doesn't allow you to tweak things horizontally, which is why... This uh, looks so uh, awkward. And the Marvel Contest of Champions Twitter page has posted this. Buffed. And you can see uh, as they are discussing their um, two instead of three buff champions for all months starting with September. They are keeping in line with that pledge with Miles Morales being the buff on uh, the left, and then Gamora, who you might recall already got a buff. It was kind of like a secret buff. It was one of those things, kabam, for the first few months and even maybe year of buffs. They didn't do what they do now, which is this kind of press release thing. They did beta tests, and people joined, and they became very popular and built up a lot of hype, but they took a lot of time and server space, and the game would crash. And so it seems like those beta tests, for the most part, have gone away. And they save beta tests for things like new content in Act 7. But instead, it is announcements like this. Now, I have a 6-star Gamora on Awakened, I think, and a 6-star Awakened Miles Morales. So I'm excited about the prospect, but I've got to be honest, and, and Kabam touched on this yesterday in the video I covered regarding why they're going to two champions a month instead of three. Most of the champions that I have as six stars, even the ones that are awakened, like OG Black Panther, I did nothing with after they got buffed. Because even though it is completely unrealistic to think that every buff is going to move a champion to the top of the tier list, like, say, Colossus or Magneto, it still is the case that buffs can be very underwhelming. I often forget that the buffs even occurred, particularly in champions like Yellow Jacket. And so I am for Kabam spending less quantity of buffs to improve the quality of them even if things will be different between overhauls and or uh, just tweaking different stats to have small variations of a uh, lesser impactful buff but i want to know you know are uh, are you pumped about miles morales and gamora being buffed in september either way it's uh good news as I didn't think Gamora would get another buff anytime soon. Now that we have seen that uh, champions can get multiple buffs, which is also shocking to me, because even though like Gamora could be better, she's way better than Groot, right? I even think Rocket Raccoon could use a buff. He's still a glass cannon champion that can't take a hit. But um, since this is the case, some of you have told me that Hawkeye Ronin needs a better buff, right? You were not impressed at all with it. Obviously, we know the controversy with the hood and how he's had to go through the buff process twice and some people still aren't happy with how hood turned out so i um i don't know what to tell you other than the fact that uh apparently thomas rogers shout out to you is getting a liked you know what i'm gonna like this post too right now i do have an instagram after all i guess i should give the handle i don't even know what my handle is on instagram that's um uh, that's how clueless i am about promoting my own social media. I just don't do it. I've got a Twitter handle. It's Prof Hoff's Puns. People think it has something to do with my Twitter or my uh, YouTube account. No. It was created years before uh, Twitter. Keep in mind, my, my name is Professor Hoffman when I teach multimedia journalism in Oklahoma State, which is going to start in four days. And so um, my students just want to call me Prof Hoff because they didn't want to have to say Professor Hoffman. It was too formal and also too long of a name because clearly Professor Hoffman, five syllables, is just too much work. So Prof Hoff is... Something that rhymes in its two syllables. Anyhow, that's uh, your history lesson for today. Uh, Miles and Gamora are being buffed. Are you pumped up about it? Uh, a lot of people have them as five and six stars. So I always appreciate when Kabam takes old champions and makes them better. I just worry that if things continue the trend and Kabam is trying to commit to saying they won't, most of these buffs are going to need rebuffs like Gamora. Because if a champion is decent but not great, you still don't want to use the two tier 5 basic and the several tier 2 alpha to take them to rank 5 as a 5 star. And you certainly don't want to use the three tier 5 basic 
to take them to rank two as a six star and obviously eventually to rank three. So it is a conundrum, but one that Kabam recognizes as well, and I'm thankful for that transparency from them. Have a great rest of your Thursday and see you tonight for a hundred dollars worth of featured calves in the uh, live stream. I don't know if we've done that this year, so it'll be fun to uh, move the fifty dollars that would normally go in this video's time slot to tonight. And thanks again to Lude. Oh, by the way, Lude passes on a message to our friend Cardio. Cardio sucks. I didn't forget Lude. I didn't forget.